Make sure that I'm not forgotten. Oh, don't worry, Cliff. No one is going to forget you while I'm in charge of your life. Well, now, listen. Shouldn't we at least give people the illusion that I'm the captain of my own ship? But you are. Just consider me the navigator. I don't know about that. You see, I wanted to try someplace else tonight. You wanted to come here. I wanted to be governor. And now I'm the head of ORC. I mean, it's like my career, but we're shaping it your way. You will be governor. It just takes time. That is J.R. Ewing. J. Hey, wait a minute. What's he got to do with anything? He was just in my office the other day to uh, congratulate me on your success. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure you did, sure you did. I've got news for you. The only reason J.R. have any interest in my success is if he got something out of it. So you do me a favor, next time he shows up at your office, you slam the door in his face. What is it with you two? I mean, I've heard the stories about him, but I always thought that they were highly exaggerated. Absolutely true. He's a lying, cheating, stealing son of a... female dog. You don't have to look up out of Christ in the dictionary. You just spend a day with him. Why is he so terrible? What makes him tick? Greed. Power. Just the joy of stabbing people in the back. <laughs> is that all? I'm not gonna talk about him. I'm gonna have a drink. Uh, another round, please. <sighs> I'm serious, Cliff. I want to know everything about him. Why? If he's evil, as you say he is, we have to be very careful. No, wrong. You have to be careful. There are only two reasons that he'd have any interest in you. And one is to see that I get thrown out of the ORC, and secondly, to get you in his bed. And once he does that, then it's all over. Why? Well, because the chase is over. The trophy is tarnished. So it's on to the next chase. You got it. Tomorrow. We'll get together tomorrow. We'll sit down and map out a strategy to keep me in the spotlight. Well, I, I can't tomorrow, Cliff. I have plans. But we'll do it some other time. I promise. Thank you. Well, you hardly touched your food, and so you didn't like it. This is one of the most popular restaurants in Dallas. Well, it may be popular with the crowd you run around with, but... As far as I'm concerned, they could spend less time painting a pretty picture and more time making it taste good. <laughs> Stephanie, it's great to see you. How you been? <laughs> Fine, thanks. Uh, J.R., I'd like you to meet a very dear friend of mine, Bruce Burns. Bruce, this is J.R. Ewing. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, J.R. Say, I have been reading some terrific things about your clients in the papers. Congratulations. Thanks. Especially Cliff Barnes. He's a lucky guy getting to work with you. Uh, I am very fortunate to be able to work with Cliff. I mean, he is such a nice man. Makes my job easy. Oh, no way. You're the one that's making him look good. If you're a client, I envy you. Stephanie is the best. I'm not a client. I'm much too busy to take on anyone else. Yes, you have been very busy. So busy that you have not returned any of my phone calls. Bruce, I am so sorry about that. I mean, perhaps when my schedule clears a bit, um... We could have lunch at the end of the week. I'll give you a call. Well, I look forward to that. Nice to meet you, JR. <clears throat> yeah. Looks like you have quite a fan club. It was fun for a while. But actually, the chase was more interesting than the capture. Sounds a little cold blooded to me. Really? If I can't help it. I mean, pursuing men is quite exciting, but once I have them, it's boring rather quickly. Away. Let me go down to Austin for the governor's lunch. All right. I spoke to him two, three times this week, and he is more and more impressed by what you've accomplished, and so am I. Quite frankly, no one thought you'd get the legislation through that quickly. Including you. Including me. In point of fact, you're making my job much easier than I thought it would be. Believe me, the governor's job lies just ahead. And you're still behind my getting it 100%. What an odd thing to say. Of course, I'm still behind you. Well, actually, there are a lot of people who would rather see me governor than the head of the ORC, especially some independent oil men. In your own little roundabout way, are you trying to make a point? 
Yes, my point is J.R. Ewing. <laughs> Why? What's he got to do with anything? He has to do with the amount of time you seem to be spending with him over lunch and dinner. I told you before, my personal life was no concern of yours. It is when it concerns him. Because he's going to use you to try to derail me. If he can. <laughs> he can't. I can handle Mr. J.R. Ewing. That's your first mistake. To think that you can handle him. I have no doubt but what you're the best at what you do. But I assure you, you have never come across a J.R. Ewing. You almost sound as if you admire him. I admire him as they do a poisonous snake. They can kill so quickly. That's why I stay away from poisonous snakes. And that's why you should stay away from him. Don't make the mistake of trying to tell me how to run my personal life. Well, at the moment, you are running both of our lives. And until that's over, forget about J.R. Let's not you forget who needs who the most here. You can't have it both ways. So you better make up your mind to that. Are you really willing to throw away your chance at becoming governor over something this stupid? Uh, or could it be that you're jealous? You think J.R. and I are going to bed? <laughs> I could care less. I just know that this man has spent most of his life trying to stop me. And I'm not going to pay you to help him. That is something that I would never do. Well, the best way not to help him is not to see him. I run my life the way I choose. So don't give me ultimatums. I just did. From now on out, it's up to you. Yes, Virginia. Mr. Ewing is here. Why doesn't that surprise me? Ask him to come in. Your timing is impeccable. The flowers just arrived. Like them? They're my very favorite. Well, what a lucky guess. And is there a reason for them? Well, uh, we haven't seen each other in some time, and I thought if fences needed mending, I'd like to do it. Oh, I think our fences are in their usual condition. Guarded? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so why are you here? I come bearing gifts. A ten-gallon hat? Not quite. Jelly beans? Not just jelly beans, Texas jelly beans. Fourteen different flavors. <laughs> now, you struck me as a closet jelly bean eater. I am, but take them out of no, my... No, just try one. There's no such thing as just one. If I open this jar, I'll eat them all. How did you know? Know what? My secret weakness. Oh, well, just a hunch. I like playing hunches. As a matter of fact, I have a hunch you and I are going to have dinner tonight. Do you indeed? Mm-hmm. All right. Since you're on such a roll, take me to my favorite restaurant and you have a date. Laurent, 8 p.m. I have a reservation. How did you know? Are you having me follow? That wasn't just a hunch. No, it wasn't. How do you know? Anything I want to know, I'll find out. Don't be late. <laughs> 